Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the Tiny Log tutorial. Tiny Log is a lightweight logging framework. So there are existing logging frameworks like Log4j and SLA4j. These are the popular logging frameworks available for the Java language. But when it comes to the Tiny Log, it is a lightweight logging framework that can be used with Java, Kotlin, Scala, and any other JVM language. Tiny Log is a open source framework and which can run on any Java platform with Java 6 and higher versions as well as it can be used for the logging framework for Android applications as well. First let us look at what are the features of the Tiny Log. The first important uh, feature is easy of logging implementation for the Java application. Now if you want to basically implement logging using the log4j or slf4j first you have to create a logger instance for each class in which you want to issue the log entries but if you see the tiny log implementation you can directly call the static methods of the logger and you can directly place the loggers for your application and the second one is tiny log is basically support many outputs like you can write a your output to the console or a file or even you can uh, write to multiple files and also it has supported to log your entries to the database and if we, when it comes to the android application it has android's uh, log cat which basically provide the log entries to the uh, file and also it provides various formats to basically format your log entries uh, while uh, while writing into the files now the another uh, important uh, feature is configurable. Now log, uh, Tiny Log framework supports multiple configurations to customize your logging. Now it has by default when you implement the logging it will write to the console and console output is basically written using the system.out and system.error. Um, when it comes to the configurable, you can you can buy you can basically create a tiny log uh, properties or the config file, and you can specify the what are the um, what are the format you want the logging needs to be happen. For example, if I say here writer is the file which basically log your entries to the file, and this is the file name and what is the um, level of your logger level and also which format you want like this it basically provides the more configurable properties to log your entries as per your requirement now when i put here as a sample output when i give the writer dot format in this particular format and this is the format basically i am going to get the output in the console or the file and the next one is it is light uh, tiny log is uh, super fast when compared to the other logging frameworks now below is the benchmarking is basically to compare with the performance of the tiny log with the other logging framework and here are the um, benchmarking done for the tiny log versus log4j or a log back or um, java dot etl dot logging now if you see here process log entries per second is basically uh, with tiny log 2.0 snapshot it is 75273 and with the writing the threads it basically 2,82,601 and if you see the log, log 4j it is just 35,595 and also with the async, asynchronous logger it is 1 lakh 7188 so this is the comparison between uh, comparison between the different uh, uh, logging frameworks from frameworks versus tiny log and finally another important point uh, another important feature is it is a lightweight framework because in order to work with the tiny log you just need to have two jars needs to be included in your um, in your project one is tiny log api uh, api log another one is the tiny log implementation um, jar files so 
these are the two jar files which is required to basically work with the tiny log but if you see the other frameworks when you say log4j or slf4j which internally have the dependencies on the many jars which needs to be shipped as part of um, uh, as part of your logging frameworks which becomes the heavier for your overall application but by using only these two standalone uh, jars you should able to implement the tiny log framework logging framework for your application and finally it is a open source and you can use for the free of cost for both open source project as well as for the um, private projects as well so these are the features are available for the tiny log and in the next session we are going to see hands-on experience with how basically we can implement tiny log for java project thanks for watching